Right, let's talk your gloves. Let's do a glove review. This is Matt Smith, and this is the glove review on the Yours Mine Away podcast. What gloves do you currently wear? Uh, HO Soccer. I've been in them for probably five or six years now, to be fair. These are sort of a new style that, that they've brought out. These are a full negative. I've previously been wearing like a roll on the, on the index and the little finger yep. and legs in the middle. Um, but I'm still sort of trialling out what I do and don't like, to be fair. And and they're really good with sort of sending me a few different yeah. styles. What size are you? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Small hands, yeah. You're six foot five? Yeah, uh, six. Six foot six. Eight small. and a half. It's crazy, that. Small hands, yeah. Seems I'd, that they're making goalkeepers taller but hands smaller. I'd probably... I do like a snug fit, yeah. so I probably get half a size size down. Um, these ones are quite quite thin on the palms, um, which They've I like. They've got very thin latex on the actual palm, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, I think these are maybe a f- three or four mil. Yep. Um, but the the grip's really good on them. They get a nice feel of the ball. Um, these are the they're like strapless, but you can put the strap on. Oh right, okay, yeah. Um, do you wear them with or without? I go with. And to be fair, they've been really good and they're actually doing one for me with the strap on. Yeah. Um, I just prefer it. I think yeah. quite traditional in that way. I know they're not traditional colours, but... Um, Do you have any uh, glove superstitions? Any do's or don'ts that you... In terms of like the... Not the standard, but the, the washing and, and wearing a certain amount of time before. I'm normally a, a wash and training once. Yep. And then a bit weird. I'll probably wear them for a one or two match day warm-ups. Yep. I always play in a different pair that I warm up with um, and then I'll wear them for probably three or four games and then they become training pairs so um, they last quite a long time and get good quality out of them. It's amazing that once you, you've you used them to, for those three or four games that then within the next week of training they're just completely dried out. It, it, it seems to happen so quickly that you think oh I've managed to get three or four games out of them they're in good nick and then they're gone. Yeah it's like I think if you wash them more than a, a few times they start to dry out but I hate, there's nothing worse than putting a dry glove on. So I try and like keep them in a towel or keep them a little bit so they've got a bit of dampness on. Yeah. The w- the worst thing is when a, you find a kit man's that gone and chucked them on the radiator or something in like that. Yeah, absolutely yeah, livid. Dry, dry. Yeah. yeah, it's nothing worth like crust. Do you, you do anything with like your boots as well? Do you ever try and like colour match boot and glove combos? Yeah, guilty. It's a yeah. massive thing. Yeah, it's it now. is. A, yeah, feel good, look good, play good. Yeah, exactly that. I do try to, yeah, like these match the, the tick on, on the boots. So, um, I do try to, yeah. 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 What a save from Mark Howard. 